Yashoda, Adade, took up, Tvai, Anu, Kritagasi, creating disturbances by breaking the butter pot, Dama, rope, Tavat, at that time, Ya, that which, Te, your, Dasha, situation, Ashu Kalila, over flooded with tears, Anjana, ointment, Samprama, disturbed, perturbed, Aksham, eyes, Vaktram, face, Niniya, downwards, Bhaya, Bhavanaya, by thoughts of fear. Stitasya of the situation. Sa that. Mam me. Vimohayati. Bewilders. P a p. Even fear personified. Even fear personified. Yat whom. Bibheti. Be afraid of. Translation. My dear Krishna, Yashoda took up a rope to bind you when you committed an offense and your perturbed eyes over flooded with tears which washed the mascara from your eyes. And you were afraid, though fear personified is afraid of you. This sight is bewildering to me. Hmm. This is also another opulence of Krishna. Krishna is full with six kinds of opulences. Uh, but this opulence is beauty, beauty opulence. Krishna has got six opulences, all riches, all strength, all influence, all knowledge, all beauty, all renunciation. So, 
This is the opulence of Krishna's beauty. Krishna wants everyone, just like we are, we are offering obeisances to Krishna with awe and veneration. But nobody comes here to Krishna with a rope. Krishna, you have offended as a mind. Nobody comes. <laughs> that is the another prerogative of the must perfect devotee. Yes. Krishna wants that. Because he is full of opulence. This is also another opulence. Anuraniyanga Mahato Mahiyan. Greater than the greatest and the smaller than the smallest. That is opulence. So Kunti Devi is thinking of Krishna's opulence. But he did not dare to take the part of Jasoda. That is not possible. Uh, although Kunti Devi happened to be aunt of Krishna, but uh, she had no such privilege. Uh, this privilege is specially given to Jasoda uh, because she is so advanced devotee, that she has got the right to chastise the Supreme Personality of God. That is special priority. So Kunti Devi was simply thinking of the privilege of Jasadamani, that how much fortunate and how much privileged she was that uh, she could threaten the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who is uh, <coughs> feared even by the fear personified, bhīrapi jad vibhēti, uh, who is not afraid of Krishna, everyone. But Krishna is afraid of Jasana. Uh, this is the super-excellence of Krishna. Oh. Just like Krishna's another name is Madan Mohan. Madan means Cupid. Cupid enchants everyone. Cupid. And Krishna enchants Cupid. Therefore, his name is Madan Mohan. He's so beautiful that even Cupid is enchanted by him. Uh, but again, on the other side, uh, Krishna, although he is so beautiful that he enchants the Cupid, still he is enchanted by Srimati Radharani. Therefore, Srimati Radharani's name is Madan Mohan Moini. Uh, Krishna is the enchanter of the Cupid, and Radharani is the enchanter of the that enchanter. So these are very high-grade spiritual understanding in Krishna consciousness. It is not fiction or imagination, concoction. They are facts. They are facts. And every devotee can have such privileges if he is actually advanced. If you don't think that their privilege which was given to Mother Jasoda, uh, if not exactly like that, everyone can have that privilege. If you love Krishna as your child, then you will have such privilege. Because the Mother has got, uh, because Mother loves the most. Nobody in this material world, there is no comparison of mother's love uh, without any exchange. Uh, even in this material world, mother's love, the child, 
without any expectation of return. Generally. Uh, although in this material world is so polluted, still uh, sometimes mother thinks the child will be grown up, he will be big man, he will earn money, and he, I shall get it. <laughs> there is still some feelings of exchange, but while loving Krishna, there is no such feeling of exchange. That is called unalloyed love. Annavilasita uh, sunnam. Free from all material gain. Uh, we should not love Krishna for some material gain. Uh, it is not that Krishna give us our daily bread, then I love you. Uh, Krishna give me this, then I love you. There is no such mercantile exchange. Uh, that is wanted. Krishna wants that kind of love. Uh, so here it is said uh, that position, jati dasha, dasha, when as soon as Krishna saw Madhav Yasuda is coming with a rope, uh, to bind him. So he immediately became very much afraid, so that tears came out. Uh, mother is coming to bind Jati the Sasu Kalila, Anyana, and the ointment is being washed off. And Sambhama, and with great respect looking to the mother, with feeling appeal, yes, mother, I have offended you. Kindly excuse me. Uh, this was the scene of Krishna. So that scene is appreciated by Kunti. Uh, and immediately his head became downward. Uh, so this is another Krishna's perfection that although He is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, and Bhagavad-gītā, He says, matta paratanam nānyat kinchi dasti dhananya. My dear Arjuna, there is no superior being above Me. I am the supermost. Nātya uh, paratanam nānyat. There is nobody else. That that Supreme Personality of Godhead, above whom there is none, uh, uh, that Supreme Personality of Godhead is bowing down before Mother Jasuda. Niniya, Bhaktaram Niniya. He is accepting, uh, my dear Mother, yes, I am a friend. Niniya, Bhaktaram, Bhaya Bhavana. With a feeling of fearfulness. Sitas. <coughs> uh, 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 sometimes when Jasada Mata, Mother Jasada used to see that the child has become too much afraid, he be, she also became disturbed. Uh, so, because uh, if, if the child is disturbed, it is a psychology, there is some a mental uh, reaction. So Mother Yasuda did not want that actually Krishna will suffer by my punishment. That was not Krishna, Mother Yasuda's purpose. But as a mother, uh, feelingly, when she feels too much disturbance, uh, the child is, uh, this system is still current in India, when the child too much disturbing, uh, he is. Uh, bound up in a place uh, that is very uh, common system. So Jasadamada adopted it. Shamang um, Vimohayot. Uh, so that is the scene appreciated by pure devotees, uh, that how much uh, greatness uh, is there in the Supreme Person that 
he is playing exactly a perfect child. Uh, when he is playing like a child, he plays perfectly. When he plays a husband, sixteen thousand wives, he was playing perfectly as husband. Uh, uh, when he was playing as lover of the gopis, he was playing perfectly. When he was friend of the coward's boy, he was playing perfectly. The coward's boy, all dependent on Krishna, uh, they wanted to test the palm tree fruits, uh, but there was a demon, Gardhavasu. They would not allow anyone to enter that palm tree. But the boyfriends of Krishna cowherds requested, Krishna, we wanted to test that fruit. Uh, if you can arrange, yes, immediately Krishna arranged. Krishna and Balana went to the forest and the demons, they were living there in the shape of asses. And immediately they came to kick uh, by their hind legs the Krishna and Balaram. And Balaram uh, captured one of them and immediately threw on the top of the tree and the demons died. So the friends also were very much obliged to Krishna. There was fire all round. They do not try anything. Krishna, yes, Krishna is ready. Krishna immediately uh, uh, swallowed up the whole fire. <coughs> there are so many demons attacked. Every day all the boys, they would come back to their home and explain to their mother, Mother, Krishna is so wonderful. You see, this happened today. Uh, and the mother will say, yes, our Krishna is wonderful. So much, that's all. They do not know Krishna is God. Krishna is the Supreme Person. Krishna is wonderful. That's all. And their love increases. Uh, the more they perceive Krishna's wonderful activities, they become more lover. Uh, perhaps he may be a demigod. Yeah. That is their suggestion. Uh, uh, when Nanda Maharaj will talk amongst his friends and the friends will talk about Krishna, oh, Nanda Maharaj, your child, Krishna is wonderful. <coughs> yes, I see that. Maybe some demigod. That's Maybe. That is also not certain. <laughs> so the inhabitants of Vrindavan, they do not care who is God, who is not God. That is not their business. Uh, but they want Krishna and love Krishna. That's all. Uh, so those who are thinking of, first of all, analyzing Krishna, whether he is God, they are not first-class devotees. Those who have got spontaneous love for Krishna are their first class. How will you analyze Krishna? He is unlimited. It is impossible. Uh, so this business we should not try to analyze, to know Krishna. It is impossible. We have got limited perception, limited uh, potency of our senses. How we can study Krishna? This is not possible at all. Uh, whatever Krishna reveals Himself, that must be said. Don't try. Uh, that is not. Neti, neti, just like the Mahavadis, they are trying to find out God. Where is God? Who is God? Neti, not this. They are simply not this. Their philosophy is based on not this. And what it is, they do not. The so-called scientists also, they are trying to find out the ultimate cause, but their process is not this, so much. Uh, as, as much they are advancing, they are finding not this. 
and what it is, they will never find. They will never find. <clears throat> they can say not this, but what it is, that is not possible. That is not possible. Panthast koti satavasa sampragamya bayurathapi manasu munipungavana sapasthija prapada srimna avicinta tatti govinda madhikunsam tamam. You have to speak of Krishna, even this material object. They are trying to go to the moon planet. Actually, they do not know what it is. Actually. Then why they are coming back? Uh, if they knew it perfectly what it is, uh, then they would have recited that by this time, uh, the time for the last twenty years. Uh, simply uh, they are seeing not this. There is no living entities. There is no possibility of her living there. And so many knows. And what is? Yes, no, they do not know. And this is only one planet or one star. The moon planet is taken as star. The scientists, they say the stars are all suns. But according to our information, the Bhagavad Gita, nakshatranam yatha sasi, Sashi means the moon is just like so many stars. So what is the position of the moon? Moon is a bright being reflects on of the sun. So according to our calculation, the sun is one. But the modern scientist says that there are so many suns, the stars. Uh, we don't agree. This is only one universe. Uh, there are many suns, innumerable, but e- each and every sun, uh, every mm, universe, there is one sun, uh, not many. Uh, so this universe, what we are experiencing, uh, experiencing by seeing imperfectly, we do not know, we cannot count how many stars are there, how many planets are there. It is impossible. Uh, so the material things which is before us, uh, still we are unable to count, to understand, and what to speak of the Supreme Lord who created this universe. That is not possible. Uh, therefore, in the Brahma Sangita it is said, Panthastu koti satavatsa sampragamma. Panthastu uh, <coughs> koti satavatsa. The space is unlimited. Now, you take your plan or Sputnik uh, or capsule, so many things they have invented. So you go on. Now, uh, go on for how many hours or days or years? No, Panthastu Koti Satavasra. Uh, for millions of years, Koti Satavasra. One, with your speed. Uh, Panthastu Koti Satavasra Sampragamya. And how I shall go? Now, on the plane which is uh, running on this velocity of the air. Not this velocity, not this speed, 500 miles or 1,000 miles per hour. No. Uh, what is the speed of air? Uh, 196,000 miles per second. 96 miles per second. So these are mentioned in the basic literature that if you go by this speed, speed air, uh, some 96,000 miles per second. So just imagine what is the speed of air. So, panthast kuti satavasya sampragamma vayorathapi. On the plane which is running on the speed of air. That speed and 
for millions of years. Uh, then again, it is suggested not only on the speed of air, but also on the speed of mind. The mind, you can, everyone will know what is the speed of mind. Uh, even one ten thousand part of a second, you can go millions of miles. The speed of mind. Uh, it is so speedy. Uh, you are sitting here, and suppose you have seen something uh, which is millions of miles here, uh, miles away, you can immediately, your mind can go immediately. Uh, so these two examples are given. Uh, just see how much scientific they were. This rascal says that there was no uh, I mean, the advanced uh, mind or advanced scientists. And where from these wars are coming? The speed of air, the speed of mind, uh, unless they had some experiment, some knowledge. Why? How these books are written? So, Pantastu Kuti Satavasta Sampragamya Bhayurathapi Manasu. And how the speed, speedy planes are. Uh, manufactured, Muni uh, by the greatest scientists and greatest thoughtful men, by manufactured by them. So is that perfection? No. So pastija parvadasimna avichinta tatti. Still you shall remain in inconceivable understanding what is this creation. Still. If you are so advanced that you can run on, on this speed, and if you are greatest scientist and thoughtful philosopher, still you remain in the same condition, unknown. Still. So how you can study Krishna? And Krishna has created all these things. See, if you cannot understand Krishna's created things, how you can understand Krishna? Is it not possible at all? It is not possible. No. Therefore, this Vrindavan uh, status of mind. being fixed, one must render service unto the Supersoul, situated in everyone's own heart by His omnipotency. Because He is the Almighty Personality of Godhead, eternal and unlimited. He is the ultimate goal of life, and by worshiping Him, one can end the cause of conditioned state of existence. <laughs> Atma Priyo Artha Bhagavan Ananta Sang Nidbitu Nyotartha Bhajita Sangsharahi Tu Uparamasta Jatra. So last night we discussed that why one should bother about his uh, maintenance and go to beg from a person who is very proud of his wealth. Uh, he can arrange his own uh, living condition. The living condition is ahara nidra bhaya maithana. So far one is in the renounced order of life, so uh, he should first of all renounce the sex life and the uh, state of fearfulness. Uh, <clears throat> that is renounced. Just like 
you have there are many brahmachari sannyasis they are supposed to be renounced order especially the sannyasi and manoprastha brahmachari uh, renounce first renunciation is to renounce sense gratification therefore the person in renounced order is called sami sami means master or goshyam so go means senses and sami means master one who has become master of his senses he is goshyami or sami otherwise if one is servant of his senses how you can be sami or goshyami every word has got meaning so one has to renounce uh this is material life material life means everyone is engaged for sense gratification and that is taken as the advancement of civilization uh, the same sense gratification in different way same intoxication same meat eating same sex life uh either go to club or naked club or this club that means the practice is the same puna puna chor bita chor bana na repetition of chewing the chili this is material life so renounce order means to stop not stop at least control sense gratification that is renounce and without being in renounce order uh you cannot uh go to the spiritual world this hmm? like if you your, your hand is there you have got something which is not very good within your hand and if you want to take something better so you have to throw it away and take it the better one you cannot keep the both things that is not possible therefore what is the difference between material life and spiritual life material life means simply full of problems every step padanga padanga jada bipada simply dende uh, we are riding very nicely comfortably in a cadillac car or better car but we are riding on danger we are driving any moment the car may be smashed especially in your country any moment so shall i sit down at home no at home also there may be so many dangers we are in dangers simply we are trying to counteract it that is called advancement of civilization the animals they depend on nature's protection but we are human being we are utilizing our higher consciousness higher intelligence the same thing uh, the russia is manufacturing and uh, what is called weapon and uh, the atom bomb so nuclear yes and america is also trying to and the cat and dog they are trying to protect by their nails and teeth so the real question is uh, defense uh, so the defense is it is not that because we have got better life uh, than the cats and dogs we haven't got to defend we have to defend uh, this is but in a better way not better way after all we have to die so anyway we think that is a better way of defense uh, so material life means only busy in four things 
how to eat, how to sleep, and how to have nice sex, and how to do that. Aharo nidra bhaya maithanancha shaman namitat prasubhi narana. But these things are not solving our problems. That we do not understand. The problems are there. Not that we Indians have come to America to see that uh, is a very rich nation, whether they have solved that problem. No, there are problems. More problems than India. India may have only one problem, uh, that there is. Actually there is no, but we are advertised that Indians are starving. Uh, but I have not seen anyone starving. Uh, anyway, so the problem is there. Uh, the material life means problem. And if you want to solve the problem, then here is the prescription given. Tang nivita niyatath bhajita. Tang means the Supreme Personality of God. Then the question may be, uh, now you have asked me to give up uh, all endeavor for maintaining yourself, Sukhdev Goswami, you have prescribed that for your food you just uh, wait under a tree and he will give you some fruits you can eat. For water, you go to the river and drink as much water as you like. Then, uh, before the verse, he said, for sleeping, uh, there is very nice uh, mattress in the grass. Uh, it will require a pillow. Now you have got natural pillow there. You have got your hand. You lie down. So, aharo nidra bhaya maithunancha. But if you want to advance in spiritual life, simply you have to give up the sense gratification. And the essence of sense gratification is sex life. Otherwise, there is full arrangement for you eating, sleeping, compartment, apartment, everything is there. Uh, temple also there you have got. Where is the temple? I want to worship God. Where is church? Where is temple? If I leave at the cave, then I have to find out uh, another means to go to the temple. Therefore, uh, Sukhdev Goswami advises, No, evang satitte sataeva siddha. Uh, here within the core of your heart, the Lord is there. Uh, you sit down anywhere in the cave, in the jungle, or anywhere. If you like, you can find out the Lord is there within your heart. Ishara sarabhuta nam riddhese arjuna tishthati Krishna says that the Supreme Lord, that means He, He is situated in everyone's heart. Uh, if we are sincere, we mean the living entity. We are also living within this body. Asmin dehi. Dehi nasu. Dehi na asmin dehi. We are not this body. I am, you are. We are also situated within this body. And Krishna is also situated within this body. Ishara sarva bhuta nam riddhesi. It is not that he is situated in the heart of the Hindu and not of the others. No. Uh, everyone, sarva bhutana, he is situated even in the heart of cats and dogs and tigers and others. Everyone. That is Ishwara. Uh, Ishwara, sarva bhutana, read this. Uh, this verse we have repeatedly discussed. It is very, very important that this body is just like a motor car. Jantra. Maya, uh, Brahman, Sarvabhutani, Jantra, Rurani, Maya. Maya, through the agency of Maya, material energy, this 
vehicle, machine has been given to me. Uh, why? Because I wanted to wander throughout the universe, just like they are going to the moon planet. So everyone has got, uh, this, this is called philosophical ideas. Everyone, every human being, if he is at all human being, he considers, that is philosophical mind, he considers, so oh, there are so many stars, where, what they are doing, how many men are there, whether there is motor car, whether there is he, ocean, these questions automatically come to an intelligent man. That is the beginning of philosophy. Uh, natural. Uh, so actually, that is the fact. We are traveling all over the universe. Not only that we have come to this planet, we have traveled many other planets. Uh, otherwise, how Krishna says, uh, Brahman, uh, wandering, Sarva Bhutani, all living entities, either in the higher planetary system or this lower planetary system. And how he is traveling? Jantra Rurani. This jantra, this body, is given body. Now if I want to go to the moon planet and other higher planet, yes, you get. Uh, but not this jantra, your so-called teeny sputnik, no. You have to take the jantra, the car, the vehicle from Krishna. He'll give you, if you want, if you are serious, that if you want to go to the moon planet, then you pray to Krishna that give me a jantra or a machine, I can go to the moon planet. Then you can go. Otherwise, you will unnecessarily spend money and try to go somewhere and bring some dust and you will say, now we are triumphant. Let's go. But if you want to go there seriously, then you have to prepare yourself in this life Pray to the Supreme Lord who has created all this moon and sun and other and this planet and he will make you befitting, qualified to go there. You cannot go to the sun planet. Uh, it is very, very hot, high temperature. Similarly, it is very, very cold in the moon planet. So how we can go with this body? Uh, this body means this machine. Then you have to accept another machine. That is the process. That is the process. That is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Janti Deva Vrata Deva Pitrim Janti Pitri Vrata Bhute Ja Janti Bhutani Madhyaji No Pi Janti Maam Everything is clearly stated there. That if you want to go to the heavenly planet or higher planetary system, there in the in front of you, you can see then that the sun planet is there, but you are so unqualified, you cannot go there. But the thing is there. It is not fictitious. The temperature here, yeah, the de Shastra description, Jachakshuri, Sasavita, Sakalagrahana. Savita means the sun. He is the eye of all the planets. Because without sun sign you cannot see. You are very much proud of your eyes. But as soon as there is no sun, uh, then you are blind. Therefore, Dachakshuri so Sabita Sakalagrahana. Of all the planets, unless there is sunrise you cannot see. Uh, and the sun planet is there in front of you. Uh, every morning we are getting the sun sign. Why don't you go there? Uh, go, you have got nice 747. <laughs> that you cannot. Uh, then you have to pray. Uh, Ishara, Krishna is within your heart. And if you fervently pray, he is very kind. Therefore, he gives you different types of vehicles. Uh, uh, Brahman sarva bhutani jantra rurani maya. Uh, Brahman means making you wondering. 
in every planet, in every species of life, sadhubhutani, uh, all species of life. There are different types of birds, different types of bees, uh, different types of human beings. This is called vichitra, varieties. God's creation is variety. Uh, so, if you want to go somewhere uh, within this material world or beyond this material world, beyond this material world, uh, parastasmat bhava anya bhakta bhakta sanatana, uh, Krishna giving you the, the information that there is another material uh, nature, that is spiritual nature. Just like we have got this experience, although we could not go anywhere, but we see, uh, we are studying uh, geography, that there are many, many hundred thousands and millions of planets. Similarly, there is another nature. There are also similarly the same, uh, not only same, it is three times more than in this material world. This is only God's one part of creation. Uh, when Krishna wanted to know, uh, Arjun wanted to know from Krishna uh, how much your potency is extended, how you are working, uh, I want to know. Because he is inquisitive. Uh, Brahma Jignasa, he is trying to understand what is God. And God is personally replying. So he has stated in that chapter that I am this amongst this. I am this amongst this. I am this. Then he summarizes that how much I shall say, just try to understand me, my potency. That uh, he, this. Uh, material world, uh, there are innumerable universes, and in each universe there are innumerable planets. Uh, so I want in every one of them, Vishtabha, Aham, Idam, Krishnam, all of them, and I maintain. Uh, just like Krishna is situated in everyone's heart, then similarly Krishna is situated in everything, even within the atom. That is Krishna. Uh, we want to imitate Krishna, but if I, if we are asked that you enter into the atom, uh, that I cannot. No. Krishna, God means, He is, can, He can be become that the greater than the greatest. We can conceive of the greatest, the universe. Uh, so, not only this universe, but many millions of universes, huh? they are being created from the holes of, of his bodily hair. Just shaika nishyasita kala mathavalamba jivanti loma bilaja jagadanna natha. That is God. From the, we have got many millions of holes on our body. Only God has God, Mahavishnu, and from that hole, Universes are coming up, continually, breathing. Just kalo. So you must have, what is the conception of God? Uh, greater than the greatest and smaller than the smallest. Uh, that is God. He can produce these big, big universes simply by breathing. And again, uh, we do not know how many atoms are there in each universe. He can enter in each atom. Anantarasthang paramanu chayantarasthang. Ekapasaura chayatam jagadanna koti jachakti rasthi jagadanna chayajadantam anantarasthang paramanu chayantarasthang govindamadipuridam tamana. This is the concession of God. So, here, the proposal is that we are suffering in this material world. Uh, 
We are simply thinking that in future we shall be happy. If I do like this, but before that future comes, we become finished. This is our position. Not only once, but many times. Still I will have been. Just like the so-called scientist. Millions of years gap, and then this will be happening, this will be happening. No, these are not nonsense. Well, I don't know how your age is, 50 or 60 years, how you are conceiving of millions of years. Huh? Your 50, 60 years of age will be millions of times finished before you realize the truth. Huh? But the so-called scientists are thinking, no, this 50, 60 years is a hmm, large uh, extent of span of life. In that way, you cannot understand. Uh, that is not possible. Chiranga Vichinan, if you speculate, in the foolish way, for chirang, uh, eternally, still you cannot understand. Uh, chirang bichin. Athapiti deva padam bhajadnam prasadali shanu grihita evahi janati tattam uh, bhagavat mahimna nachana ekopi chirang bichin. Chirang means eternally if you speculate to understand God by your tiny brain, and limited sense perception, it will be not. To take the prescription of this hospital, if you want, uh, the first is that you must give a material attachment. Nirvita. Nirvita. Material attachment, so long I will be attracted by material things. Krishna will give me a relative body. Tatha dhyandra prati. If we want this temporary material enjoyment, then according to the body there is enjoyment. In the ant's life there is also the same thing, eating, sleeping, sex and defense. And in the Lord Indra's or the king Indra, the heavenly king, he has all the same propensity, eating, sleeping, mating, and defense. Uh, so if you go to the moon planet, or sun planet, or the topmost planet, wherever you go, the four things will follow. Uh, eating, sleeping, mating, defense, and birth, death, old age, and disease. So, so long we shall uh, remain in this material world. I may be Lord Indra, Lord Brahma, or uh, President of America, or this or that. You cannot avoid these four things. That is material existence. Uh, that is the problem. But if you want to solve the problem, then this is the process given. Nivrita. Annavilasita sunnam. Don't aspire for material enjoyment. Uh, enjoyment is there. Don't think that if I stop my material enjoyment, then my in, in life of enjoyment is finished. No, it is not finished. Uh, just like a diseased man, he is also uh, eating. He is also sleeping. He is also having other duties. But that he is eating, sleeping, and a healthy man's eating, sleeping is not the same thing. Similarly, our material enjoyment, the eating, sleeping, mating, uh, defense, uh, that is uh, uh, with full of dangers. Uh, we cannot enjoy it without any hindrance. Uh, there are so many hindrances. Uh, that if we want that uninterrupted happiness, happiness is there. Uh, just like a diseased man, he is also eating, and the healthy man is eating, but he is having bitter taste. Uh, a man with jaundice. If you give him 
sugar candy, your taste is bitter. That's a fact. But the same person who is cured from the jaundice disease, he'll taste it very sweet. Similarly, in the material condition of life, there are so many inabilities. We cannot enjoy life fully. If you want full enjoyment of life, then you must come to the spiritual path. Dukkhalama uh, sasatam. This material world has been described in the Bhagavad Gita that this is dukkhalayam. It is the place of misery. But if you say, now I have made arrangement, I have got now boom, nice bank balance, my wife is very nice, my children are also very nice, so I don't mind, I shall remain in the material world. Krishna says, asasatam. No, sir, you cannot leave here. You'll be kicked out. Dukkhalam asasatam. If you agree to stay here, in this miserable condition of life, that is also not allowed. No permanent settlement. Tathādi yāntara prāpti. So these problems, where is the scientist? They are discussing about these problems. But the problems are there. Who wants to give up whatever family he has got? Everyone has got family. But nobody wants to give up his family. But by force he is taken up. Uh, the man is crying. Uh, uh, I am now going. I am now dying. What will happen to my wife, my children? Uh, he's forced. You must get out. So this is the problem. So where is the solution of the problem? There is no solution of the problem. Uh, uh, if you want solution of the problem, then Krishna says, Mamupeta kantiya dukhalayam sasatam nabnubanti mahatmana sangsiddhim paramangata. If one comes to me, Mamupeta, then he hasn't got to come to again in this material world full of miseries. So here Sukhdev Goswami is suggesting that 